Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to the electrical engineering channel. In this lecture we will discuss uh, Gauss-Jordan method. This method is used to evaluate the inverse of a matrix. So inverse uh, of a matrix means if I multiply a matrix with its inverse, uh, I will get the identity matrix. Okay, so let's suppose A is the original matrix whose inverse has to be evaluated. X, I are the column vectors. Uh, and uh, since we have 3 by 3 matrix, so X, I matrix has to also to be 3 by 3 matrix. So it will have 3 column vectors. This is the first column vector, uh, which is 3 dimensional. This is the second column vector and this is the third column vector. And the product of uh, these two matrices uh, should be equal to the identity matrix and identity matrix can also be represented in the form of column vectors this is the first vector 1 0 0 this is the second vector 0 1 0 and this is the third vector so we can represent this matrix equation in the augmented form this is our system matrix a and this is our right hand side matrix and this right hand matrix can be written along with the system matrix A with a space. So this is A matrix space. This is the right hand side matrix and it will become an augmented form. Okay. So this will be augmented matrix. So this is our A matrix. We will have a vertical bar in between and after that we will have an identity matrix. So let's uh, try to uh, transform this matrix and uh, this matrix has to be transformed to the identity matrix right and this matrix will also undergo the same transformation and these entries will also undergo changes and when this matrix has been transformed to the identity matrix this matrix will be equal to the inverse of this matrix okay so how this will happen we will see uh, in the lecture okay so let's uh, try to make this entry equal to zero first. Okay. So this is our uh, first row, and uh, this entry will be made equal to zero by multiplying the first row with two and subtracting it from the second row. Okay. So this entry will be equal to zero, and now we have to make this entry also equal to zero. So, so let's add the first row in the third row so 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0 so the resultant matrices uh, are written over here this is the first matrix this is the second matrix and these two entries have been made equal to 0 now it's the turn of this entry and this also has to be equal to 0 so let's add the second row and the third row so 8 minus 8 will be equal to 0 so after R2 plus R3 operation, we will have 0, 0, 001 minus 111 as the new third row. So this has become an upper triangular matrix. And from LU factorization, we know that A is equal to LU. So any system matrix can be transformed to a lower triangular matrix multiplied by the upper triangular matrix. So when we have augmented form, then AI will be equal to LUI, right? So A is equal to LU, so we can write LU in place of A in this equation. And uh, since we have transformed this matrix to the upper triangular matrix, so it means we have multiplied this matrix with L inverse from the left hand side. So let's multiply this matrix with L inverse from the left hand side. We will have L inverse LU and this will become L inverse I. Okay. So L inverse L will be equal to identity matrix. And when we multiply identity matrix with U matrix, we will get U matrix as a result. And this is L inverse I. And when we multiply L inverse with identity matrix, we will get L inverse matrix. So this is our a set of matrices after these three operations and uh, after these three operations we will have an upper triangular matrix so it means if we have upper triangular matrix at the left side 
then this will be the inverse of the lower triangular matrix according to this mathematics okay so this is our upper triangular matrix and this is the inverse of the lower triangular matrix or l inverse so let's move move further and uh, we will try to make these entries equal to zero as well right so now is the term of this entry and uh, this entry can be made equal to zero by subtracting the third row from the first row because these entries are equal. So after this operation, we will get this matrix. Okay, two one zero two minus one minus one and so on. So let's make this entry equal to zero. So multiply the third row with two and add it in the second row. Okay, R two plus two R three. So this entry will also be equal to zero. And we will have these two set of matrices. Now is the term of this entry and multiply the first row with 8 and add it in the second row. Okay, so 8 R1 plus R2. So it will become 16, 0, 0 and these entries uh, are also written over here. Now we have to make this matrix equal to the identity matrix. So multi divide the first row with 16 divide the second row with minus 8 and then we will have identity matrix over here so these uh, are the resultant entries of the right hand side matrix so this is identity matrix it means this matrix is actually the inverse of this system matrix a inverse because we had u matrix over here and l inverse matrix uh, over here according to this uh, formulation u l inverse and multiply these two matrices with u inverse at the left hand side so this is u inverse u and it will become u inverse l inverse so this u inverse u will be equal to the identity matrix and u inverse l inverse can be written as l u whole inverse right this is the matrix property u inverse l inverse is equal to l u whole inverse and l u whole inverse is equal to a inverse so when this is identity matrix this will be equal to the inverse of the system matrix so this is a inverse so we have evaluated the inverse of a matrix a uh, by using this gauss jordan method which is composed of only algebraic operations and no determinant or adjoint and cofactors evaluation is involved okay so this is a rather uh, simpler uh, method of evaluating inverse uh, of a matrix okay so one more important information in this discussion is that for on the upper triangular matrix the product of the pivots is equal to the determinant right so this is our upper triangular matrix which we can see over here and the product of the diagonal entries 2 into minus 8 into 1 is equal to the determinant of this system matrix A. This is our system matrix and its determinant is equal to minus 16. So this can also be evaluated by multiplying the diagonal entries of the upper triangular matrix. So this is the determinant of A. Uh, so if R is equal to C in a matrix, then the matrix is called a square matrix. And if the transpose of a matrix is equal to the original matrix then the matrix is called as symmetric matrix so this is the first application of the gauss jordan method and by using this method we can evaluate the inverse of any matrix another application of gauss jordan method is that we can evaluate the solution of simultaneous equations by using this method so suppose we have two set uh, we have a set of two simultaneous equations and these two equations are expressed in the matrix form as follows so convert to the augmented matrix or convert the system of equations in the augmented form so 1 3 3 4 is the left hand side matrix we will have a vertical bar in between and then we will have the column vector of the right hand side so let's uh, start transforming this matrix to identity matrix and uh, this first entry has to be equal to 0 so let's multiply the first row with 3 and subtract the second row from the first row so 3 r1 minus r2 after this operation we will have uh, this result uh, now 
we can divide the second row by 5 so it will become 0 1 2 okay now let's make this entry equal to 0 by this operation r1 minus 3 r2 and after that we will have 1 0 0 1 okay, so this is the identity matrix and this entries uh, will also change and it will be 1 2 so when we again represent this matrix in the original form then we will have 1 0 0 1 into x y equal to 1 2 so when we multiply this identity matrix with this column vector we will have x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 so that is what we have written over here x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 so this is how we can use gauss jordan method to find the solution of simultaneous equations so let's solve another example in which we have a set of three simultaneous equations and uh, these three equations are expressed in the matrix form as follows and let's uh, represent this uh, matrix to the augmented form and this is the augmented matrix so we have uh, 2 1 2 1 2 1 and 3 1 minus 1 and let's uh, transform or interchange the second row with the first row so we will have 1 2 1 8 as the first row and 2 1 2 10 as the second row so first uh, let's make this entry equal to 0 by this operation minus 2 r1 plus r2 so this is the resultant matrix now let's make this entry equal to 0 so after this operation we will have this result and uh, After that, we will have to make this entry equal to 0, right? So, when we make this entry equal to 0, we will have uh, this resultant matrix. And this entry can be made equal to 0 by multiplying the third row with 2 and first row with 5. And then adding the first row and the third row. So, as a result, we will have uh, this matrix. So, let's divide uh, the third row with 4 and then we will have uh, 0 0 1 3 right so this actually this matrix has been obtained by dividing the second row with minus 3 so we will have 0 1 0 2 as the entries in the second row so things have become simpler now we will make this entry equal to 0 right so by this operation 5 r2 plus r3 so this is the resultant matrix and then after that we will divide the third row with minus 4 so 0 0 1 3 is our new third row okay so now um, let's make this entry equal to 0 so this can be made equal to 0 by r1 minus r3 operation and this is our uh, next uh, matrix and finally we will make this entry equal to 0 by this operation r1 minus 2 r2 so this is our identity matrix and this is our column vector at the right hand side and we can say that x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 so we can evaluate the solution of the simultaneous equations by using this gauss jordan method as the second application so I hope that lecture was quite interesting and understandable for you all. For watching more lectures, please subscribe this channel. Until the next lecture, it's goodbye.